Hi everyone, welcome back to B17 The Mighty 8th. Here we are with Seacup and her crew. So far, so good. Three missions complete, 18 aircraft kills. And we've had numerous injuries along the way as well. Let me just show you the injury file. Uh, we've got uh, Tony Wilson, our tail gunner. He's only been out on one mission. He, sh he bagged, I think he got so six aircraft in one um, one mission and we haven't seen him since the, the previous two missions um, he's injured and he won't be back till the end of the month or a couple of weeks time at least Marty Copeland our pilot has been injured yes not good news the captain's been injured after he's completed three missions so far we'll have to complete the fourth mission without him uh, he's got a severe wound so he's not back till the end of the month so yeah three weeks out for him and on top of that we've lost our co-pilot as well Martin Roth injured my goodness me he's completed two all three missions so far as well so this is really is going to be a a bit of a odd mission with a completely new crew in the uh, flight deck so yeah uh he's not due back until the 28th as well so yeah oh god blimey we're gonna have to put up with that for a few three weeks which is gonna be a bit of a challenge xavier scott our radio operator also has been injured uh, completed three missions, but uh, he won't be with us on this one. He's out in a couple of weeks' time. And Philip Schmockel. Now, he's our replacement tail gunner who replaced Wilson. Uh, he's been injured now, and he's an ace as well. You can see he's got his Distinguished Service Cross and a Medal of Honor. Completed the two missions that Wilson was out, but he's been injured, and he won't be with us for another couple of weeks. So, we're going to have a new pilot, co-pilot, uh, radio operator, and tail gunner. Mission 4 is going to be a doozy. Let's head on into the briefing room. Here we are then. Where are we going? 10th of May, 1944. The Euro tank oil refinery and storage is primary. Secondary target is the Merck Wheeler oil production facility. And tertiary is the Hamburg oil refinery and storage. So this is definitely the um, the focus of the, the bombing raids at the moment. All we've been doing is bombing these oil um, targets, these refinery targets in this area. This area is hugely defended by flak, uh, so it's always a bit of a challenge. Ordnance selected for this mission is 6 times 500 pound general purpose and 12 times 100 pound incendiaries. Distance to fire this target is 100 and, sorry, 1,150 miles, and we'll have two squadrons of P-38s as escort. So the Eurotank oil refinery and storage Flak strength is high, fight strength is moderate, priority is very high, no damage. Merck Willow oil production facility, flak and fighter is moderate, priority is high, and we've already bombed this, you see it's already got a high degree of damage. Now very often they would bomb a target, leave it two to three weeks until the repair crews got there and started repairing it, then bomb it again. Because not only could they take the, the target and the refinery out, they could also take the repair crews out which seems very sinister, but it's actually very smart. If you get rid of the, re the skilled repairman, then the, uh, the rebuilding process takes that much longer. And tertiary target, the Hamburg oil refinery and storage, moderate flak and fighter strength, high priority, no damage. Right, so sign the way. Looking at the route they've chosen, well, let's have a look then, where are we going? Uh, that's not too bad actually. We can probably shorten this turn and get coming out out here, so we won't go through this flak for no reason. Uh, which means we will get the attention of these two airfields, probably, possibly this one, and probably these two as well. So double ammo again, um, but we've got the the targets here around. Um, you've got the Hamburg Harbour there, but you've got the oil refinery there, you've got Euro Tank there, and you've got the Mercurilla facility there. Have a quick look at the reconnaissance film. You can see the uh, large industrial zone here, then the facility, then lots of housing around it, which is blooming typical. And the river intersecting just before the actual facility itself, which will be um, Q 
key to spotting it. Lots of chimneys and storage tanks. Should be easy to spot, hopefully. Are the officers briefed? Let's get the rest of the guys together and head to the aircraft. Start engines. So here we are then. Master switch on. Starting up C Cup Cow for left. her mission Open left. four. Open right. You can see three mission indicators both. and 18 crosses for the kills. Auto rich. As they go through the warm-ups sequence, let's go inside and see who we've got uh, flying with us today. So we've got radio operator, tail gunner, and two new pilots. Meshing. Make sure they can go through the uh, startup sequence. Well, that seems to be working. Master switch on. Right, so here we have the Mission captain for this flight is Denny Demperschmidt. Okay, welcome Denny. And Vincent Boosted Livers on, is on. the co-pilot. Coming back into the radio room, we've got uh, Brian Stubbs, who will be our radio operator today. Meshing. And in the tail, we've got Harold Schumacher. Yes. Some very German Mission names coming above. in at the moment, isn't there? Schumacher. Mixer really? Schumacher. Okay. Booster pumps and Depperschmidt. Perfect. They're not double agents at all. Don't worry. Nothing to worry here. Let's get the aircraft warmed up and taxi to the runway. Meshing. Meshing. Taxi to runway. for takeoff. Right then, we are up and away. You can see the uh, English coastline, but it's East Anglia behind us. It's uh, 8.36 in the morning, coming up to 15,000 feet. Speed 150 miles an hour, heading 074. Right, time to take a look at what we are going to do with this mission then. So we, they think they've finished climbing, but that's not true. It's going to be not too much flak, so I reckon we probably go up to about... Um, 20, 26. 26 seems a nice height today. So let them begin their climb back up to 26. Uh, coming in at 15 around here will probably be suicide, so uh, we'll try and avoid that. Um, I like the idea of here skirting around these uh, flak um, installations here. Maybe if we can uh, just get these away from there a little bit more there we go just so we don't accidentally clip the edge of that that would be great and we'll get the rest of the what's that that is 15,000 let's get up to 26 26 these up to 26 as well and then we just need to have a look at the uh, the exit the rally point and the exit from the uh, the bomb run because um, I think it's going to be key to try and just stay away from any unwanted and unnecessary danger. We're not going to get um, to 25 missions if we don't look after ourselves. So this, for example, this is just lazy. Um, we should be able to bring that back a bit and then just just skirt around this flag. Yes. They, these fighters are going to be engaging us, but they would have even if we went through there. So and we don't need the rally point all the way up there. Let's try and avoid this fighter. Let's try and shorter, shorten these runs a little bit. Um, what, ideally what I need is another waypoint in here. Just so we can lessen that turn. 
we're going to have damaged bombers from the flak. We do not need to be doing really sharp turns. So if I could maybe, yeah, probably will engage this one now. But it's better to just keep everyone safe, right? So we got twenty six thousand meters. Uh, sorry, feet, not meters. Um, I'll get twenty six up here. And then we got good to go, I think. I'll just get the rest of these done. Once we hit this point, we can start dropping down to... What's that one? That one's got 15. We move out of the range of the Luftwaffe fighters. And we can start dropping down and stay at 15 all the way back to Lighty. Oh, we're a little bit short on fuel, it's saying. But it's probably because we're climbing. So that should um, sort itself out momentarily once we've completed our climb. But yeah, I'll continue to... Make sure all these are 26, uh, and then we'll go from there. Look at this. I am delighted to see Killing Time, which I landed with uh, issues last time, if you recall. She did, in fact, um, survive. Three missions complete, and that uh, fighter kill that we saw her full turret gonna get when um, they were in the turn. In the mission one, I think it was. And over on this flank, we've got ever reliable first mate three missions complete um, so we are all together which is nice our wingmen are still with us fantastic right onward it's looking a little bit cloudy but hopefully once we get over land it will clear up a little bit but um, for now let's head on okay making a turn now you can see our escorts the lightnings turning with us Beautiful. So far, so good. We're just um, flown up the coast. And now we're turning south and heading over enemy territory. Right. Our decision point will be over here somewhere. So we're not a million miles away from that. But uh, we cannot be too far away from enemy fighters coming to engage us. So keep your eyes peeled and your gun ready to go. Yeah. Bid incoming. A five. I see them. Fighters coming in. Bandits, coming in. Level. That one's hit. We'll switch to this one. Bandits, coming in. Level. Couple of hits on that one. Another one coming in. Can't quite get him. Bandits, Eight level. Bandits incoming. Got that one. We've got a smoky engine on first mate, and we've got a fuel leak down below. I can see a parachute from the fighter we just destroyed. So, first mission for our tail gunner, and he's already got a kill. So I think that I'm going to claim that one. I think. Here he comes. I can't get my gun down that low. So I'll have to get him when he goes past. There he goes. Okay, I think we did quite well in that opening gambit. We definitely destroyed one. Two, I think, were damaged. I don't know where the other one has gone. Maybe the fighters are keeping them quiet. into that one. That's the uh, smoky one. That's probably the uh, that one we just saw actually leaving the area for a moment. Okay, we're coming up, I think, to the decision point. So, um, let's go over to our new radio engineer to find out the weather forecasts. Here we go, then. Weather at primary target is believed oh, that's to be good. fair with three-tenths cloud at approximately 6,000 feet. Okay, so the primary's on. 
We'll have a listen to the other two Weather just for completeness. Weather believed to be fair with three-tenths cloud at approximately 6,000 feet. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be altering much. Weather at tertiary target is believed to be fair with four-tenths cloud at approximately 6,000 feet. So I'm happy that primary target is on and we'll leave it at that. Okay, we're coming up. Okay, we're coming up to the bomb run. Cloud is uh, actually, it's not, it doesn't look like three tenths cloud to me. I'll be honest, it seems a little bit thicker than that, but uh, that's what it is, apparently. Pilot, so we'll now make the turn and start the bomb run. Nice. Make sure the bomb bay doors go down, there's no damage from recent attacks. Bomb bay doors are opening, lovely. Bomb doors, pull open. Okay, coming into the bombardier's position. Um, How's it looking? Oh, it doesn't actually look too bad in front of us. So I look down the bomb site. Uh, oh, I think he's locked on, which is good. Which is good. Now, okay. So if you recall, the video, the reconnaissance video we saw was we flew over the river before we got to the target. So the reconnaissance aircraft came towards us. Um, so we're bombing towards the river, which is, I suppose, is good. So it means us. As long as we don't drop our bombs early, then we won't hit the residential. But as always, I might just um, shorten up the the drop. Let's do about yeah, about 190 drop. That should be fine. Good, and we are waiting. A plume of black puffs of flak to erupt in front of our aircraft any moment now. Or potentially another flight of enemy aircraft could intercept us. But we are nearing on the target, which is there. And we've got this little bit of cloud here, which I know is just going to cause us a pain. You just know it. You can see it right there. Oh, as the lightnings fly over us. As long as they don't... Here comes the flak. Pull up, little guys. You don't want to be flying through that. Wow. Wow. That is quite thick flak, but we've got to fly through it straight and level. Was that it? No, here it comes. <laughs> right, flying over the city of Hamburg, yeah. Bandits coming apparently. We'll have to leave the navigator. Hey, hi. I see him. I can't get the guns down any lower. Shot the pieces out of that one. Got some smoking bombers though. We got bandits. Reload. Incoming. Meantime, back with the main man. I knew that cloud was going to come in and cause pain. I can't actually see the target. Okay, boys, deal with it. Where is the target? It's not where he was locking on, was it? Bandit, six o'clock low, coming in. There, that could be it there. Was 
Was that what he had it on? I thought he was on here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he was on it. Oh, that's where the chimneys are going to be, okay. Oh, oh, sorry, man. I saw him through the sights. And traces zipping by. And concentrating on the bomb run, boys. So you can see all the industrial zone over the river and here as well. It's some residential. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound good at all. That sounded like one of our aircraft just got kamikaze by the uh, the fighter. I've got a feeling we're drifting to the left. Gonna re-establish. Hang on. As soon as we drop this, we can get on the guns and try and protect us. Obviously, when the flat comes in, more traces going flashing by. Drifting left. So here's the target. As you can see, there are three smoking wrecks in the background over the city of Hamburg. So yes, I reckon a couple of aircraft have been downed. Uh, our shadows are coming towards us. You'll start to see the bombs hitting the ground soon. Hopefully where we want them to. Bombs? Where do they go? Looks like we might overrun into the uh, river and beyond. But there we go, that's quite a sizable... I do want to drop short, but um, we maybe dropped slightly long. But that's good, that's good enough. We've hit the target. Oh, we got more. Oh, got four nineties. Some good hits into that one. Ah, oh, that's all we need. Guy comes up, flak. Fighters then flak, and fighters then flak. I suppose we can. Couple of hits on that one. It's actually the the nose gun of uh, killing time alerted me to that one. Just staying out of my guns. This looks like a wounded a wounded pilot or wounded aircraft, definitely. Yeah, I think he's dead. Where our ball tonner gets a little bit too excitable and wastes all his ammo. Aircraft over there. Still hear the flak, even though it doesn't appear to be coming in. Yeah, fighter coming in. Good night. Yeah! <laughs> I think I got the cop cockpit on that one. See him. Oh, it's under my gun. Oh, somebody coming up. Good hits on that one. Nailed him. Absolutely nailed him. Another one coming in. They're definitely picking on us as flight leads. It's going to be a bit dicey. Yeah, can't get him. 
Ooh, got a pendulum aircraft down there. It's always scary. Aircraft coming in. Bad guy. He's on fire. Got his engine of lights. Yeah, got you a bad guy. That was definitely a fuel line. Sweet. Right. You seem to fare quite well against those 190s. I say, there's a big hole in um, Killing Time's wing there. First mate still with us, but smoky. Oh, and looking at our own, we've got a huge chunk out of our wing. Now, is that flak or was that an enemy fighter? Crikey, look at that hole. That doesn't look good. But main wing spar, perhaps damaged. Can we lose the wing tip? I hope not. Let's some um, check the fuel. Uh, so it'll be engine one or two, or tank one and two, which will be here. They seem to be fine. So yeah, our fuel tank so far seems to be okay. That's lucky. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, it's currently. Six minutes past eleven. We are twenty-five and a half thousand feet, heading six zero six. What does that mean? That means we're coming up to the uh, the coastline. So we'll be heading down the coast, and we can only be moments away from the edge of the Luftwaffe cover, their range. So that should be, hopefully, if there's no further enemy aircraft coming up. That should be the actual direct danger. Completed, then it will be just a case of nursing these aircraft back in their damaged state. And hopefully, no collisions, no damage, which causes uh, injuries or fuel issues. Okay, and at 11 minutes past one, we're down to 15,000 feet, but most of us are here. I think we may have lost one or two bombers. I'm not quite sure. I think we lost. Hang on, what's the number we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, we've definitely lost someone. But um, hopefully, we're not going to lose anyone else. We're just coming over the English coast now, as you can see. It's lowest off there. Um, Norwich up there. So, that must be Ipswich. So our base is over here somewhere. So yeah, only probably another 20 minutes flying and we should be down on the ground. Hopefully that wing and no other damage will present itself and we can get this aircraft down and okay. The rest of the aircraft looks a couple of holes here, but a couple around the engine, but the rest of it looks relatively okay. It's just that huge, that huge chunk missing out of the wing. If we have a look at Killing time. Yeah, you can see far more poxed and potted from enemy fire and flak. And um, poor old first mate, a number of two engine is windmilling now. But uh, she seems to be okay and hopefully she can get back to base, no problems at all. Okay, home base is over there. Let's. Um, I didn't realise that. I didn't see that hole in the, the uh, stabiliser. How long's that been there? Probably a long time. There's me talking about getting away with it. But um, okay, just line up on the runway. Gear coming down. Seems to be fine. Deployed flaps. Also appears to be working. Good. We are coming in now. No problems. The aircraft actually seems to be flight characteristics are quite nice and balanced and even which is exactly what you want even with that damage it, although it looks bad it's not really affecting us too much the engines are purring and uh, we're coming in nicely good this is mission four Almost complete. Just get down. Go and give our information to the debriefing officers. 
intelligence officers. And that will be us done for another day. First mission with our flight crew, our radio operator and the tail gunner. And I think we bagged a number of aircraft with the tail gunner. That's definitely, if you want to become an ace in a day, that's definitely the seat to sit in. But everyone has performed admirably today. Good stuff. Right, we'll taxi to dispersal and uh, park up. See you in debriefing. Welcome to debriefing. Let's find out what they made of the attack. 10th of May 1944, the Euro tank oil refinery and storage. Distance flown 1139 miles. Bombers lost one. Enemy fighters shot down nine. Bomb damage estimate totally destroyed. All in all, not a bad mission. Sad loss about that crew. Confirmation then. No crew injuries suffered. Now that is a first, I think. I do not recall the last time we did not suffer an injury. Fantastic. There's the bomb damage assessment. <laughs> don't really know how to quite read it but it's good totally destroyed that's all we need to know so no promotion no promotion sorry medals awarded staff sergeant schumacher our tail gunner medal of honor <laughs> i tell you that is the decoration seat um but let's go serious for a moment mission missing crews accounted for mother and country crashed in friendly territory no all killed in action over Oh, they were almost home. They were almost home. I wonder. I wonder which one that was. I didn't see it go down. Ah, oh, such a shame. So coming into the commander's room. Let's have a look. Mission 4. Complete. 23 aircraft kills. So what do we have? 18? So that's 5 more. Don't tell me Schumacher got five and became an ace in a day again. That'll be, that'll be uh, I've become a, a running joke on the tail of our um, aircraft. So here we go. Mission four, the pilot, Depper Schmidt, and uh, his tail gunner, Schumacher, um, completed their first missions, of course. He did indeed. <laughs> Schumacher is an ace. Five kills. Five FW-190s. That's three aces we've had on our tail position. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? We've only completed four missions. Uh, but unfortunately for Schumacher, it probably does mean that he's due a trip to the hospital very soon. But there we go. Fantastic. Can we get five missions? Well... We've got there. Can we complete mission number five? We'll find out next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.